So, you know what really grinds my gears? False advertising and data communications. It's like a virus infecting the very core of our digital world, spreading deceit and deception faster than you can say bandwidth throttling. Let's start with those internet service providers promising lightning fast speeds, boasting about their fiber optic networks and state-of-the-art infrastructure. You sign up, excited to surf the web at the speed of light, only to find that your connection is slower than a snail on tranquilizers during peak hours. What happened to those up to speeds they promised? It's more like up to if you're lucky and if we feel like it. And don't even get me started on those so-called unlimited data plans. They lure you with the promise of endless streaming and downloading, only to hit you with a sneaky fair use policy buried in the fine print. Once you've crossed some arbitrary threshold, suddenly your data isn't so unlimited anymore. It's like buying an all-you-can-eat buffet ticket, only to be kicked out after your third plate. False advertising at its finest. Then there are the telecom companies peddling their latest and greatest communication technologies, promising seamless connectivity and reliability. But what they fail to mention is the constant dropouts, dead zones, and call quality resembling a broken record. You might as well send your messages via carrier pigeon for all the reliability that you're getting or not getting. And let's not forget about those sketchy apps and software promising to revolutionize the way we communicate, claiming end-to-end -end encryption and ironclad privacy. But behind the slick marketing lies a web of data harvesting, privacy breaches, and security vulnerabilities waiting to be exploited by cyber criminals. It's infuriating how rampant false advertising has become in the world of data communications. We deserve transparency, honesty, and reliable services not empty promises and marketing gimmicks. It's time to hold these companies accountable and demand the quality of service that we're paying for. Because in the digital age, truth should be the only thing that travels at the speed of light.